check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. What's up everybody, Quan here, back with another video. Today we're gonna be hitting a shoulder and bicep workout today, guys. It's gonna be fun, we're gonna hit a little core as well. We're gonna keep the rep ranges between 12 to 15 reps. And we're gonna be doing three to four sets of everything, all right? So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications, guys. We're at 33,000 subscribers. I appreciate you guys. I'm still providing these workouts for you guys every day. So just give me, do me a favor and click that bell and that like and say something cool in the comments. Negative, positive, all the comments I get, I appreciate everyone spending time with me on this platform. It's been really fun growing from 500 subs on January 1st to 33,000 now. You guys are awesome. You guys have really changed my life and really helped me feel good through some tough times. So thank you guys. So without further ado, let's get to this workout. I'm not gonna hold you guys too long and uh, let's pump out these shoulders. All right, folks, we're gonna start with the seated overhead dumbbell press. I'm gonna go with 40s here, we're gonna go 15 reps. Then we're gonna go right into a front raise with the 25s. I'm using my concrete dumbbells today, so it's gonna be fun. You know, I already got a set in, so I'm feeling pretty good. Remember, three to four rounds, folks, all right? All right, let's go. These look big, but they're only about 40 pounds each or so. Probably a little lighter now. They've kind of broken down. Their concrete got them through uh, quarantine some time ago. Ooh, Lord. All right. Back up, we're gonna hit some of these front raises. Keep your core tight here when you're hitting these. We're gonna go alternating. on each arm here, so we're counting about 24. Bring that arm straight up. Slight bend in your elbows. Keep your head up and chest up. All right, we're gonna finish this tricep off with some bicep curls, all right? We're gonna go hammer curls to finish. Peel that shoulder back. Keep your head and chest up, all right? All right, let's get it. Twelve here. All right, so twelve reps there. Super simple. Now we're gonna move on to some lateral raises and um, some bent over reverse flies. We're gonna keep pumping through this workout, guys, all right? And we have uh, regular bicep curls too. So we're gonna go a little heavier on this next round using the 40s for these. Remember, three to four sets of everything, keeping that retro range between 12 um, and 15 reps, okay? On a given side or whatever we're doing. Let's keep pushing through. All right, so we're moving on to those lateral raises and those reverse flies. For the lateral raises, we're gonna be using the 25s. For the reverse flies, we're gonna use those 40s and then we're gonna go action to a heavy curl with the 40s as well. We're gonna keep this thing on, man. I'm already getting kind of pumped. You see, we're getting loose. Drive the elbows straight up, keep your head up and those shoulders pinned back, all right? Going into those reverse flies, I'm gonna try to back up so you can see it. Heavy here though. That was that was quite a bit ambitious here. Oh lord. Now we got the curls as well. Still with those 40s, like I said, we're we're not messing around here. 
we're going heavy. We're still trying to put on a little size right now. I'm just trying to make sure I get full range of motion for the given lift. Here's something I really want to touch on before I keep going. You guys like to comment on some of my YouTube shorts that I don't go full range of motion when I say I am. Guys, full range of motion has nothing to do with locking out your arms. It's about stretching the muscle that you're trying to hit. So full range of motion on a lat pull down, for instance, isn't gonna be this. Your muscle's not engaged. If you're trying to keep to maximum time under tension, you're gonna wanna go boom, boom, to see the muscle elongate right to where that tension is still there and shorten to keep the tension on there. That's how you stimulate growth. So when you guys comment things like, that's not full range of motion, you guys know what he's talking about. I try, I usually don't comment back because I'm not gonna argue. And two, guys, you have to understand there's different methods to hit different things. That's why guys like Athlean X or the Davis dude who's like really getting popular right now. That's why they people have different methodologies for their different types of physiques. I'm six foot four with a six eight wingspan. So when I'm trying to hit something different than you, when I'm trying to hit a different muscle group, I might have to change my grip or the placement or the way I do things. And that's why I always say these workouts are made for me right and all, and if you want something made for you sign up for online training or go somewhere else or whatever you got to do so if you want to train like me you can do what i do try some of my methods but try other people's methods that's a great way to keep things going all right let's get to these curls oh. all right we're gonna go alternating here i'm gonna get about 24 so 12 on each arm as you turn try to keep that wrist straight Keeping that, keeping it in the right spot so you can really feel it in your bicep. Don't just sway, none of that. Keep it nice and strict. All right, you done lost the dang count. I'm gonna say that's 12, okay? 13, 15, 16, doing that little tricep right there remember three to four rounds just like the first we got some more to go oh lord we're gonna move into a high row now folks high row is one of my favorite moves people do it wrong i like to drive the elbows straight up keeping them out away from my body where the highest point of the lift is my elbows all right so we're gonna hit those then we're gonna go into a pike push-up after so we're gonna do the high row real quick and then we're gonna go i'm gonna move the camera down so you can see this pike push-up one of my favorite body weight exercises for hitting your shoulders all right so let's keep growing these things 12 reps here, elbows wide, head up, chest up. Driving those elbows up. Keeping the dumbbells as close to your body as possible. Nine, 10, 11, 12. There we go. Jeez. All right, let's take it down for these pike push-ups. All right, folks, so now we're gonna go into pike push-ups. We're gonna go 12 here as well. So the key is to get your butt up to the sky, head straight down, and putting your weight on your shoulders, all right? We're gonna go 12 reps here. Head up and down, let's go. We're gonna superset that with a single arm kneeling overhead press. Here, make sure you flex your core the whole time. Get that dumbbell up and press. We're gonna go 12 in each arm. All right, time to switch and get the other one. Stay buggy. We have a guest star here, my dog Blue. <laughs> Make sure you hit your 12 reps. Hi, Blueford. <laughs> this is not the place for you to be. No, that's not the place to be. What are you doing? All right, guys. So try some of those moves. Let me know what you think. We're gonna hit a little bit of abs here and a little bit more biceps, all right? I'm gonna get him back inside and uh, keep this workout going. All right, let's get it. 
All right, so we got a new one for you. A little hybrid ab workout that's gonna hit everything we've been hitting today and a little bit of core, okay? So we're gonna get that dumbbell, counterbalance, legs out in front, bring them in and just press up. Extend, bring them in, press up. Extend, bring them in, press up. All right, we're gonna do 12 of these. It's a tough one. Someone's gonna make fun of this one, but I like it. Breathe, folks. Feet never touch the ground. Okay. Sheesh. All right, lean back. And we got bicycle, bicycles. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little tired. All right. So try that seated work, seated movement right there, okay guys? You're gonna lean back, curl as you bring your knees in, press overhead. It's gonna light you up. That's why I could barely do 20 bicycles right there. So we're gonna keep the bicycle short because it's gonna be right, you're gonna go right into it. Then you're gonna finish things off with those suitcase crunches, all right? We're gonna lean back, pull on our knees, and we're crunching. 20 here. All right, folks, that's how we do it. So workouts don't have to be crazy long. They don't have to be wild and all that stuff. Super innovative moves. Keeping it simple is best. Try some new things like we did today with the bringing your knees to your chest, curl and press. Just kind of making it a little different, making it a little fun. Um, workouts don't have to be boring. You can really have fun with them. Don't let anybody tell you they have to be a certain type of way. Keep your form right. Do what works for you. Remember what I said about range of motion. Understand how to hit the muscles in which you're trying to grow, okay? I try to build like a, I look at it as like, I'm trying to be like a built distance runner. Like I wanna be like the most jacked looking distance runner I can be almost. No, I'm just kidding. You know, you guys know I love men's physique. I've competed for years. Um, I run marathons, I play a lot of basketball as you guys have seen on this channel. Um, if you guys wanna know more about my story and about how I got here living on the beach, you know, how I got to where I am today, go ahead and click life story down or type life story in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys, I love you guys. Remember with this workout, do everything you saw, four sets, like rep ranges, like I said, 12 to 15 reps. If you're doing, you know, single arms, it's 24 or 20-ish, you know what I'm saying? Because it's 12 on each arm, or 10 on each arm. And um, keep making those gains, guys. Negativity is gonna come, adversity is gonna come. Keep being you, keep doing what you gotta do. I appreciate y'all, I love you guys. Thanks for all the support, positive and negative. And uh, you know the deal, I'll see you tomorrow for another workout. Thanks folks.